Assalamu alaikum welcome to another tutorial of UK Textions. Today we will learn about how to create job scheduler in Android. What is job scheduler and why we use job scheduler? Job scheduler is a simple service that works in the badges in the background. Why we use job scheduler to optimize the battery usage and the memory or the caches of, of the phone that we are using. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create it and how to use it. So before starting our video, if you are not a subscriber of this channel, please subscribe this channel. Also like our Facebook page which is UK Textions Tutorial. Also like this tutorial if you like it. So let's create the UI first. Just add two buttons to start and stop the job. So we created here two buttons which is start job and stop job. The IDs are here. Let me just add the margin top to 20 dp to make some space. Right, so we created here the UI of the main activity. Now let's create the job scheduler. Create the class. Name the class as Android Scheduler. Extend it with the job service. Implement the methods. then a notation so in a start job we will add here a method start job give the parameters and create the method now after creating the method let's do something add a debug log here log dot debug add the tag here which is job scheduler now add here something you need to add I am creating here a random integer so what I will do is random int plus new random dot next end and that's it so whenever we call this uh, whenever the service hit it will create a random integer and add the debug log in the locket over here right so there is no device and the uh, debugger processor here so when we run this application it will show the log in under the locket right so we created here a job scheduler now let's uh, add it in the, into the manifest how to add it just add the service tag here add job scheduler add here the permission android permission and give here android dot permission dot bind job underscore scheduler sorry job service now what is the next so let me just add here the buttons first button start and stop in it resources to initialize these these resources which are buttons create here the method initialize buttons now what is the next process now let's add the listeners to the start button and a stop button Now when we click here the view of we have to add the view id under this tag we will start the job right and uh, under this add uh, under this tag we will stop the job now let me just add the id of the stop button
so let's create how to start the job we will add here the job scheduler job scheduler equals to get system service and here the job scheduler dot class it's required the api which is marshmallow or above so let's uh, surround it with this right now we have to add here the job information builder the builder will have multiple setters to set some properties you want to add while enabling the job scheduler first we will add the component name or the service name in which we have to to use the service this and now we will add here the android job scheduler dot class which is our class and then we will create here the job information builder job info dot builder equals to new job info builder and we will add here the one two three this is the job id and then we will add the component name which is service name of the application which is android scheduler right now what is the next process we have to just add start the job scheduler using this info if we need to add any setters we use information builder so by how to use or optimal optimal use of a battery so in the info we have a set not battery low so if battery is not low we have to use this service right so we will say true if the battery is low the service will not work right info dot set network required if the network type is none or network type is cellular network type uh, is any or ne network type is none so if the none it can use the service right when we have a network or when we don't have any network like data or wi-fi let's see why it's uh, giving error because it's started in the android oreo right so let's just surround it with this and in the end we just add the periodic of info the minimal time to give interval is 15 minutes so let just add here 15 six zero and thousands means after 15 minutes it will so this is how to use a builder to start a job now the last work is if job scheduler is not equals to null then we just add here the integer of result equals to job scheduler dot schedule job info dot build right if the job uh, is successfully built then we have to show result equals to job scheduler dot result success if the result is success we will show a toast that the service is started so let's just add here the toast and then we will say job started if not it will show else fail to start job right so we created here the uh, job scheduler now we have to use how to uh, stop the job how to stop the job scheduler we have to just add here the job scheduler job scheduler equals to new get system service job scheduler class 
and job scheduler dot cancel job by giving this job scheduler id which we have given here right this is the job scheduler id you can use it as as a as an static also so let's just surround it with this and uh, also surround it with this right so if we are using this uh, job scheduler we have to just add the griddle 21 api right minimum sdk will be 21 so let's just sync it and then we have to run it so we created here the two buttons the main activity started the job the listeners the builder and the scheduler how to stop the job now just rebuild this application and see what is the result so it's waiting to build the emulator is on let's wait till it build and then we will show you the results So the application is up now let's just start the job the job is started the toast shows now let's uh, see the locket copy this lock and just paste over here copy this lock tag and paste it over here and choose debug Oh, we just forgot to add the thousand it's hundred so it, it says uh, the job ID is too small to raise it so let's rerun it and uh, just see what it will do after adding the thousand here right terminate it and reconnect and reinstall now just add here just click the start button says job is started and also give the integer random integer let's wait for 15 minutes another random integer to show you right so after 15 minutes it will show the random integer next here right in the second line so let's wait for it and uh, i will show you after 15 minutes so we have just one to two minutes left to get the other random integer under the debug log right so let's wait for it the time was 2 40 when we had a first random integer and the time will be 22:55 when we get another random integer so let's wait till it's uh, 22:55. so the so now the um, value is of second integer random integer is here so hope you will like this tutorial if you like this tutorial do subscribe our channel also like our facebook page also follow us on instagram you get actions tutorial also like this video and uh, share your suggestions and views under the comment section hope you will be connected with us we will see you with another amazing tutorial. Inshallah, Allah Hafiz.